Hey everyone, Michael here. So a few weeks ago, I was watching a YouTube video by Jeff Walker. If you don't know Jeff, you should. He's amazing. If you're into sales and marketing, definitely worth a follow. He also happens to be a hell of a skier. And the video was called Six Gurus in a Gondola. Now, to be fair to Jeff, he wasn't all that thrilled about using the term guru, but the alliteration was too good to pass up. Here's how the video worked. It was Jeff, five other gurus, a gondola, and they were all getting ready to go skiing. And as they went up the lift, they were getting peppered with questions. One of the questions was all about fear. And what was really cool about their share, their fears all had to do with their voice, being seen as an expert, their inner critic. It was so refreshing because I think we all have fears like that. I know I do. Back when I was younger, whew, mine would show up with a vengeance. And you know what? It still pays me a visit every now and again. But I also know that's just part of being a human being. It's natural. I also know that sometimes it's easier for the gurus in our world to share their fears. So I'm not gonna tell you to go out and do a YouTube and tell the world about what you're fearful of. Heck, I'm not even gonna tell you to show up today in front of your team and talk about your fears. They may not be ready for that. They may not be ready for you to get your Brene Brown and be all vulnerable with them. But here's one thing I will ask you to do. When you look in the mirror, just be honest with yourself. Because if you wanna slay your fear, if you wanna slay that inner critic, those negative stories in your head that hold you back from complete success, well, to get there, you have to name it before you can claim it. Now, that may not be guru alliteration, but it does rhyme, and it's also true. So share your comments below. And if you wanna share what you're fearful of, go for it. And until next week, have fun storming the castle.